if you're not happy in the Philippines, change it. I'll tell you that now. The Philippines is a very beautiful and interesting country. It has some fantastic things and some really, really negative things. But at the same time, there's nothing that says it has to stay that way. If you've got noisy neighbors or whatever and they won't change or that, just move. It's not like Western society where eventually you may get the police to actually come and remove their sound equipment. The Philippines is more laid back. They just see you as an annoying foreigner a lot of the time. Um, because they're like, well, it's been all right for the last 20 years and now you move to the area, it's a problem. Because most Filipinos don't notice it. They just like switch off to it. It's always been like it since childhood. <coughs> so part of that problem is Westerners adapting to it. And I've seen people advertise their communities where they bought all the land so that they have no Filipino neighbors, which I find rather amusing because it's sort of it's sort of bizarre that you would move to a country to create isolation. I don't understand it. I, I don't understand the logic behind it. If they're that miserable, they'll be miserable anyway. Um, I wouldn't want them as a neighbor. <laughs> you know, if I had a party on my birthday, I wouldn't. Ex I wouldn't want everybody saying, "Right, we're going to have a bit of a disco now. We're all going to be on headphones." Um, I want to actually everybody to actually enjoy the party and invite the neighbors, whatever. I mean, when we have a party, there's about 200 people on average at our event. But the whole point is, we're there to enjoy it. We invite all the neighbors, that gets away from all this video key, loud noise stuff. Because um, everyone's in the same place, although we never have a video key machine. But at the same time, it's about adapting. If you can't adapt, move. You know, if you've got somebody that annoys you and you're really not getting on, just move. In the same way, if everything's getting you down and you don't like the country, try somewhere else. The thing about retirement is you have very few restrictions. Um, there's nothing to stop you get up roots and going to Panama or Spain or anywhere else. There's nothing stopping you except maybe your partner. Um, and that, that's, that's a difficult one for you to decide. It depends what you want to do in life. Um, myself, I'm, I'm content here in Spain. I was content in the Philippines. It was just that the kids needed the education. And obviously I want them to have European passports. Uh, because it gives them access to the world instead of the Philippines. Um, and I'm not saying that in a negative way. I mean from a work point of view. Why should I get my children earning 600 pounds a month when it could be earning 4,000, you know, just because they're a Filipino rather than they, they've got a British or Spanish passport. Um, that's just stupid, you know. And that, that, that's the whole point here. It's like, the world is racist. Believe it or not, it is. They, they do segregate based on color, race, religion, etc., etc. Anyone says it doesn't, haven't been to some of the places I've been. Believe me, they do. Um, and if you hear people speaking about each other, you'll know more about it. You know, um, some of the groups that shout about racism the most, when they talk about the ones they dislike, are some of the most racist people I know. Um, I had to split up an argument before in the Middle East between an uh, Indian guy and oh, uh, Malaysian, because. The Indian guy was from Tamil, so there was. <laughs> I don't know if you know about Tamil tigers and what have you, but they, it's political. But they were actually fighting. Never met at any other time in their life. Only been in the same room for two minutes and it had to be split up. But anyway, I lost where I think what I was talking about. Oh, um, yeah, change what is making you unhappy. If it's a bad partner, move on. Um, this is why I say don't get married straight away. 12 months I would recommend. Minimum 6 months. Um, okay, I admit, I, I got married within uh, November, a year. Uh, sorry, probably about 6 to 8 weeks, so 2 months. But we'd already been communicating for 9 months before that. So, 
it's it's one of those things but we're we're happily married but i know more people that are unhappy um because they instantly went yeah i'm gonna get married and you're like well hang on a minute when did you meet her well i just met her at the airport uh, why don't you actually meet the family and find a bit more about her before you make that decision uh no 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 that's the one that's the woman i love that's Okay, I think the tide's coming in here, I'm getting soaked. Let me close my book. Um, so, just change it. Doesn't matter what it is. If the car keeps breaking down, and your mechanics are crap, either change the mechanics or get rid of the car and find something else. I actually don't have an issue with public transport. I actually prefer having my motorbike than any other vehicle because it's brand spanking new. Somebody was asking me why uh, it's so expensive when I was looking at selling it. It's because it's only got 4,000 kilometers on it. it. You know, it is a pretty new bike. It's aged, aged a little bit, but the actual, if you look at it, it looks brand spanking new because it's very well looked after. It's not left outside. It's used for like going into the city or whatever. Um, it's not abused. It's very well taken care of. But at the same time, my 4x4 has had some really bad mechanics like trying to rip us off and stuff and I've got to the point now where it's like don't touch it I will fix it when I'm back um, if, I can, if anybody knows a good mechanic in Cebu that is reliable and doesn't overcharge let me know and I'll, because I know how much things cost so when they go oh it's gonna cost this I'm like you're talking rubbish um, yeah push that to one side but that's a prime example. I fired the mechanics, pushed the vehicle to one side, and I mean it runs, it's just a, a you know, something as stupid as an alternator. There is all these like hype hikes in the price up and all sorts, but the one piece that makes everything else work, you know, because obviously if it's not charging the battery, then the vehicle becomes pretty useless. And something so because they shredded the screw on the actual bolt. And because it's a soft aluminium frame on it, it either needs a thread recut or a new alternator. And I'm thinking of just buying a brand spanking new alternator, but they're coming back with crazy figures. I'm thinking, shove it in a ballot buying box and send them one. Um, but the problem is they'll steal the old one. I can sell the old one and get some of the money back. Anyway, um, that's why, good mechanic, let me know. There you go, I'm, I'm changing something there. There is always something that will bug you in the Philippines. Here in Spain, only thing that bugs me is bureaucracy. Everything else, no problems with whatsoever. Cost of living. Um, oh, when I say bureaucracy, I also mean the the rip off Britons that rip off other expats. That's a that's a prime example. How am I changing it? I've now got a lawyer um, that I'm working with, developing our own practices um, because. There's so many expats, and most of them are elderly. I'm ashamed that Brits actually steal from other expats. I really am ashamed of them. Um, charging 140 euros for something that's free is just a prime example of these thieves. Um, so I'm changing it. We're developing our own practice. Okay, so that's, that, that's a prime example. I changed it. In the Philippines, you can do this with most things. And like I said, if you're not happy in an area, move. If you're, your partner's no good and you're not married, change your partner or go single. Go single for three, four months, settle in, and then you'll start to see where you want to be in life and what type of person you want to be with, etc. Too many people commit too early. Um, do you want to be in the city or near the coast? Those are the sort of things you want to be asking yourself. If you're a, a friend of mine had an accident up in uh, ah, absolutely soaked that side. Um, up on <laughs> it's out in the provinces of. I've got to stand up now. I'm so wet. It was out in the provinces, and basically they made a real mockery of the repair after a motorcycle accident to his, to his foot that 
they had to undo everything when he got to a, a, pro, a real hospital. Um, and they're asking if he'd stitched it together himself. There's a prime example where somebody realized their healthcare wasn't as good as it should have been where he was, so he changed it. He moved to somewhere that was far more superior in healthcare, um, but without too much added cost of living in a main city. Uh, see, like Cebu City can be like that. Cebu City's costs can vary considerably depending where you live, but you're normally within 45 minutes of a good hospital. So that, those are the sort of things I would look at. If I wasn't happy with something, I would change. But the main thing here is, instead of grumbling about it, do, do something about it. Like me, getting soaked sitting there, I'm now stood up. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.